guest, Heist Almighty. Heist Almighty's back porch, y'all. Gonna take a look at an IPA that's from Calgary, Alberta, that you picked up in, what's that place in Bedford? Uh, Harvest Wines. Harvest Wines. Like there's Harvest Wines in Bedford, which is just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then you got Premier Wines and Spirits, which is in Nova Scotia, like downtown. And Bishop Cellar, right on the waterfront. They're awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they rock. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at it. Big Rocks India Pale Ale. A classic ale with golden amber color, dry hop, and a distinctive character. Spicy, warm, slightly smoky. Uh, settles on the dust in a warm prairie evening. So, um, you told me during the break that this is going to be not so much like a regular IPA, but more like an Alexander Peace. I, a lot of places actually put the India on this one in quotations or brackets. Uh, <laughs> which I think is a little bit insulting to their yeah. claims. Uh, it is actually not even classified as an IPA on right beer anymore, but uh, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and have it on IPA day, um, and, and take them at their word that this is possibly an IPA. You're not, not going to knock this one to the ground this time, right? I will try not to spill this one. So it's under a black foil cap, which may be overdoing it if this is going to be a stupid land. I could Alex not get any thing. Well, I got a little head on yours. A little bit. Yay. A little bit. You didn't get none. No. Any sediment? You? No. Perfectly filtered. It looks like an IPA, though, from the color, though. It's a little that, darker than I would have expected, but yeah. close enough. Yeah, it's definitely darker than I would have expected, because I think it's a little darker than Alexander Keys, which is more of a, like a golden hue. Alexander Keese's IPA is more like a, it's not even very hoppy, and it's it's very macro uh, ale-ish, basically. It may even be based on lager yeast, so they can make it a little bad. But, um, no, I think they still make it in Halifax. Head really didn't stick around too long. Nope. And you didn't get any, so let's give it a sniff. WTF? There is a little bit of like grapefruit citrus there, but for the most part it's this brown, sugar, bready kind of quality. If they dry hop this, they didn't try very hard. No, they didn't. It smells like... Do you remember that stuff that you used to get, uh, beet? No. It was a drink. It's from Nova Scotia. It was like an apricot orange drink. Oh god, no, I never drank that. <laughs> I love that shit. When I was a kid. Whatever. Yeah, it's got a very, like, brown, caramel... Kind of smell. I've got a watery macro. I can smell the filtration smell. I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more than maybe that. Um, I can't say it's too bad, but it's not too great either. It's almost like they they uh, they took yeah, some nice it. smells and. What is your smell anyway? Let me give you that. Maybe you got yeah. Have you got the bottom of the glass? It's yeah, there. give me a yeah, give mine a smell. See what you think. Now there's not much else going on in there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting more off of this one than your glass, but it's it's a very like a, a, a dirty free kind of smell. Yeah, not much going on here. Anyway, it's it's not like it smells incredible. Really. All right, let's give it a taste. Down the hatch. Well, like an IPA is. IPA, it is not. A little bit of a... Admittedly, it's got more of a hop bite than your uh, IP, Keys IPA. Granted. It, but it's definitely not like a strong IPA. It's more like an American Bale. That might be bending it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it being reclassified as an English Pale, probably fair. It's more of an earthy hop quality. Yeah, um, there, I, I now believe them. I was skeptical before, but now I believe their claims of dry hopping might actually be true. Mm -hmm. Typically, if dry hopping doesn't produce all the bitterness, it just gives more flavor. Right. But even if they dry hop this, they didn't really dry hop it a lot. No, they didn't try... They didn't dry hop it enough, that's for sure. They didn't try that hard, no. I can't say this is incredibly bad, but as an IPA, no. No. <laughs> it's definitely not your IPA. Fail. So I guess it finishes a little bit wet. Yeah, it's, it's not incredibly perfect. It's not. It's not dry. 
It's, it doesn't I mean, it's look not, perfect, it doesn't taste perfect, it doesn't smell perfect. It's not heavy. It's not... It's a little watery, but it's not so watery it's offensive. It's better than Alexander Keats. If you're considering it an IPA. Okay, based solely on the criteria of resembling an IPA, this might be better than Keats. Yeah. But IPA Keats is, uh, from Keats is a little bit more smoother and easier to drink. Yeah. This is... Yeah, this is kind of second. I want to finish this right now. What do you think you're going to give this beer? Two. Two? You I might what? give it a little bit. I think I liked it a little bit more. I'm going to give it a two and a half, but it's just that's just a bear pass. It's not a true IPA, in my opinion. It's definitely not. I mean, it has some little bit of a resemblance to it, but maybe it's just more like a really like it's like they, resemblance. It's like they took a, a, a pathetic pale ale, or maybe a blonde, or maybe a bitter, and Threw some dry hopping in it and called yeah. it an IPA. You notice that little bit of like a tea bag herbal quality to it? Yeah, this definitely tea bag does. Yeah. I think it might have also. Tea bag. <laughs> might have failed like to be an IPA based smell. on. Well, 5.5 5. 5 is enough to be 5. an IPA. 5. 5. Is that enough to be an IPA? Bare minimum. Yeah, I think really the IPA should start at like a 6.5. You think? Maybe a 6? 5.5 5. 5 is weak for an IPA. Week, yeah. Some weak sauce. It's definitely some, it's got some nice strong, and it's just, if I were living in the West, uh, again, I would be disappointed. <laughs> because I'd be like, if I were living in oh, West and had a choice color. between this or Bud? <coughs> that. Yeah, we're Bud. But, I'd be looking to see if Alley Cat's got anything better. Problem. Really, it leaves like a nice, like, it's almost like, I feel like a tea bag with that herbal. Anyway, been two point five for me, two for uh, Heist Almighty. Thank you for watching it. Um, big, uh, big rocks India Pale Ale, not that great. India, India in brackets, uh, apparently. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.